China celebrates the Lunar New Year with a week-long holiday. While some opt to travel to hometowns to be with family and friends, an increasing number of Chinese families choose to spend the holiday overseas. More than 5 million people from China traveled abroad this year's holiday, up 10 percent from last year, according to a report released by China's National Tourism Administration on Tuesday. This soaring number of travelers sent a message of confidence in the Chinese economy to the rest of the world. In order to attract Chinese tourists, many countries decorated scenic spots and shopping malls with Chinese elements. Peking Opera masks, the Chinese character for fortune hung during the holidays, and lanterns were easily found everywhere. It was widely commented that this year, Lunar New Year was celebrated all over the world, and not only by the Chinese. Decades ago, the festival was only celebrated in some parts of Asia and in communities with Chinese heritage. China's rapid development introduced the celebration to more cultures. The country saw the opportunity in Chinese New Year to promote its soft power influencing the world. It has also grown into the top tourist exporting country in the world. The total amount of overseas trading last year reached 165 trillion U.S. dollars. To cope with rising Chinese visitors, a large number of retailers also worked together with China's largest bank card provider, UnionPay. It made spending overseas more convenient for Chinese customers. UnionPay also offered cardholders the chance to win prizes by using their cards. Last year saw Chinese tourists in a harsh light with incidents in Egypt and more, even prompting Chinese officials to comment on the issue. However, despite the increasing number of travelers overseas this holiday, reports of Chinese uncivilized behavior reduced significantly. Through the constant education from the Chinese government, more Chinese travelers realize they should mind their manners. The concept of traveling in a happy and civilized way has been implanted in an increasing number of Chinese people.